around 600 CE onwards, the center of consciousness shifted further downward. At the spiritual and religious front, this corresponded to emergence of Tantra, complementing the Puranas. Tantra brought focus on Shiva and Shakti as the cosmic creative couple. However, the seed idea was already there in the Vedas as Nri and Kuna. After the Vedic age, it became the Purusha and Prakriti of Sankhya philosophy during the age of reason. By 600 CE, these archetypal ideas evolved and got integrated into Shiva and Shakti of Tantra. The union of Shiva and Shakti as the central process of spiritual realization came to the forefront through Tantra. Once again, the ancient wisdom was recast into new forms, suitable for the new evolutionary stage of the Indian civilization. They took up the creative power of the life energy to turn it towards the divine realization. Tantra traced the cosmic creative process arising from Nada Bindu, the primal seed sound. They traced the geometry, rhythm and process of the Bija mantras, the seed sounds. It was also the time when Indian mathematics reached its glorious classical age. Tantrics explored and systematized the processes of creative energy or Shakti working through nature. They mapped and organized the knowledge of the chakras and naris of the subtle body. They developed a process of awakening the Kundalini the divine force asleep in human nature, accelerating human evolution. They developed extensive mastery over the occult forces beyond physical nature. Besides spiritual liberation, they brought in the aspect of cosmic enjoyment as a natural progression in the spiritual evolution of humankind. They synthesized the spiritual relationship between man and woman, humans and nature. Even the sexual and sensual dimension of life was brought into the fold of spiritualization. By the 8th century, even the Bhakti movements had begun to turn the romantic and sensual energy towards the divine realization. Over the centuries, both Tantra and Purana mixed together and became the most living and enduring movements of the classical age of India. They had the most abiding result in the mind of the people. They opened the general mind of the people to a higher and deeper range of inner truth and experience and feeling.
the centuries that followed saw the rise of massive temple architecture across India. By 1000 CE, India's cultural and spiritualizing influence was well established across Southeast Asia. Indian cosmology and systems of knowledge shaped large temples and cultures across Asia. It was the universal nature of India's religions, philosophy, science, art and technology that attracted the Asian neighbours. The Indian universities were sought after by the students from all the neighbouring countries. India's extensive maritime trade became the vessels of cultural transmission. India's spiritual influence spread far and wide. 